Hi people, so here's another um, a story about how incompetent Indu can be. Okay, so yesterday we had a story on the pages regarding a lady who wanted to be able to um, not pay one week's rent, but be able to pay a payment on her car payment. So they, on one hand, they were saying how, oh, this is wonderful because she was in advance in her rent, okay, and she wanted to take advantage of that and instead of paying rent again, because she was in advance anyway, pay the car payment. And then they got all narky about the car payment and then they turned around and said, oh, we'll allow you to do it just this once. All right, so I'm just going to read back through here. So yesterday morning this lady decided to rearrange her finances so that she could save a little money on items we wanted and not have to use afterpay to do this remember Indu's go-to line now is use afterpay and pay the debt with the card right so um she needed to go into the Indu shop front and get permission to pay her car payment the woman spoke to her like she was special when she said she wasn't using all of her rent payment this fortnight because she was ahead and she wanted to use the extra money to pay her car payment. Well, the woman looked at her with disgust, like I hadn't been paying my rent. I just had to jump through the hoops, going to the bank, getting the bank statements on my car payments, right, fill out the stupid form to get permission on an external payment. But at least they said they'd do it just this once you know what I mean it's you know they just treat you like absolute imbeciles right um she added the car loan is through family and I lost my contract so they originally demanded I get a letter from the loaner but I said absolutely not because we're not on speaking terms she was quite nasty to me right so anyway whatever the situation is they allowed her to do it just this once and then today so after all the nonsense I was put through this morning, they took my car loan payment twice. Twice. What an absolute forking <laughs> joke, right? So I was only taking one week off payment of rent, but now I'll have to take more because they gave my rent money away. How poetic. How is this card supposed to make life easier? Right? Great job, Indu. And... She's provided the proof in the support group, right, where they've actually taken the payment out twice, right? Um, so now she's no longer in advance in her rent, and this is just beyond crazy. Um, now, I remember that she posted into the Hinkler group about this this morning, and I'm going to go in there and read what she says in there because... Um, I like to read things properly and not just go off what I'm remembering because at the moment I'm getting bombed with messages and everything all the time. So um, I'll make sure I've got it all right here. I mean, this is just ridiculous what they're doing to people. I mean, she had to beg to get permission to pay her car payment. She would got herself one week in advance in um, her... Um, you know, in her payments on her rent, and now they've stuffed it up completely. She's no longer in advance in her rent, and she's now they've paid her car payment double, right? And um, the update now is it's going to take something like six weeks to get that money reversed or something. It's like this is just ridiculous what they're doing to people. Um, I'm just trying to find. So, the update. She went to pay one week's rent. I go to pay the one week's rent. I was going to pay this fortnight. And lo and behold, I have less than half of what I need to do so. Turns out yesterday, Indu staff decided to pay my loan payments twice. So I called them and told to be told it's a clerical error that will be investigated. And they can get the money back, but it'll take up to six weeks. I'm like, there's no point in that. So now instead of being a week ahead, I'm now right on time with my rent, which I don't like because I prefer to be always ahead. I had to call the real estate, let them know about the issues so they didn't think I was neglecting my rent payments 
and now I have to remember next fortnight not to pay my loan and to pay my loan onto the rent. I sent over what I had left of my rent money, but without it being a full week's amount, they don't count it as is. Oh, well, talk about a mighty bloody screw up, eh? I mean, for God's sakes, deliberately, basically putting a person where they're, they're going to end up behind in their rent because how dare somebody get in advance for Christmas? I mean, a lot of us would try really hard to get rent in advance put away for the Christmas period so that you didn't have to pay rent over Christmas so you could do Christmas shopping or something like that or pay another bill or do something, just take pressure off. But no, 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 not Hindu. Got to make sure, you know, they screw everybody around. It's just, it's getting beyond, it's beyond stupid. It's beyond a joke. It's nothing but deliberately destroying people's ability to be able to budget pay their bills on time you know what I mean it's just crazy so um I'm just reading a new story on here too about a lady who's trying to get her um son off of the card I might do a separate video on that one but yeah the incompetence of these people stuffing it up double paying it Stuffing up a rent, right? You know, Rachel Bowler says it's financial abuse. Well, they're obviously no good at being financial managers, are they? You know, these people are in control of your bloody income. They're supposed to be managing your income for you because apparently you're not capable anymore, you know what I mean? And all they do is stuff it up for people, deliberately. You know, and then when somebody puts in for their opt-out, oh, you've been stuffing around with your bills. It's like, no... Indu's been stuffing around. It's just getting really, really... Oh, I don't know. People need to start picketing with signs, all right, and start really getting out there and making themselves known and saying, we're not going to take this anymore. I mean, how much more are people going to take? You know? Well, I don't get it. It's like people just have to start standing up and saying no more i want my bills paid my way i want my money back in my account you know i want my opt out now start saying standing up because if you don't they're just going to walk across the whole bloody country yeah you know, it's bad enough the situation with people on new start then bang the card on them as well as people on parenting payments bang the card on them and parents next bang the card on them all right how much more do people have to put up with and people need to start standing up and saying, I'm not going to put up with any more. Right? You know, we're Australian people and deserve to be treated better than the way we're being treated. Simple as that. Across all platforms, whether you're on New Start, Parenting Payment, Disability Support Pension, right, caring for people, whatever. Right? About people started getting out there and demanding better. You know? All right. I'll come back in a minute. I'll do this other one next. Back in a sex day there, guys. <laughs> 